are all human beings first. Point blank, period. We eat, we sleep, we drink, we cuss, we cry, we laugh. We are human beings. And if you think as a cisgender person that there's gonna be a person who is the same way acting and being like you, think again. I think the first thing I would say is there is enough space for us all to exist and yeah. to thrive. I have I have visions and memories in my head of you know religious communities walking the streets with backfires saying, you know, you don't belong here, you shouldn't exist, you know, go somewhere else because you know Barbados has no place for you. And I would say to religious communities just stop and think. Because, I mean, I breathe like you, I, I, I want love like you, I want family like you. And in that sense, we are, we all, we have so much in common that we have that is different. So I would say, you know what, there's space for us all. Um, and then the second thing is that we're no threat. We're not evil. Even though your dogma or your religious statements might suggest to you that we're that, that we're that, you know, have a conversation with someone who's, who's queer before you make those judgment, judgments. Um, think that maybe, you know, a family member of yours might be queer and you don't know and you're you're ostracizing them not even knowing. Yeah. You know? Um, so yeah, we're not evil and we're not a threat. We have been here. We've been here for all time. Like we didn't manage to pop up in like the 80s or something. We've been here. We are your doctors, we are your bankers, we are your lawyers, we are your politicians, we are your heads of government. We have been here already. So just the fact that you are seeing us doesn't mean that we have not been here. We have our own history, we have our community, we are here. It's just that we just want the same things that you all have. We just want it to be balanced. And there's nothing more that we don't take over anywhere to do anything else. That's it, we just want equality. I want them to know that we can live in a world that does not abhor differences, but adores differences. And that's it. Like, we can get to that place yeah. and there is no need to stress about what other people are doing or be threatened by other people's existence, like adoring differences instead of abhorring them. Um, I want them to know love, kindness and respect. I want them to know that it's okay that you don't agree, but you should be respectful of a person's individual choice and coexist in the world together without having the animosity and the, the level of hatred and disgust for something that is a your journey. There really is no difference, you know. Um, I think I'm just gonna like end it off with a question. If I did not come on here and tell you that I was a career woman, what would you have thought about me? 